Hey everybody, it's Pete Marmosino here at Chaikin Analytics. I'm the Chief Market Strategist, and this is the Chaikin Power Feed video series. And today we're going to talk about semiconductors. Why? Well, because one of the biggest names out there in AI, NVIDIA, reported a monster quarter. One that I don't think we've seen in a very long time from any company, really. Amazing numbers. However, when you've got a name like that in your sector, that name in your corner, that big brother, so to speak, helping you out, backing you up, your whole sector is going to benefit. And NVIDIA basically recharged this group that I wouldn't say was on the ropes or getting beat down at all because this, the relative strength was strong. We're going to look at the chart of what's called the VanEck Semiconductor ETF, symbol SMH. And you'll see throughout the whole year, this relative strength stayed very strong no matter what was happening in the industry. But there were some names that were breaking down and now are saved because of this amazing report. And not only the report and the numbers, but the outlook for this particular group has just shined a light on the ability to find more profitable names. And one way to do that is look inside the sector ETFs. And that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, here we are on the video here looking at the chart of SMH. Again, the Vanek Semiconductor ETF symbol SMH. All right, I'm going to pull up our rating. You can see we're very bullish. We've got three very bullish categories. The technical rank obviously is very bullish and what we call the power gauge rating and the equity weighted power gauges. And all that means is that we took the weightings inside this fund and looked at how the power gauge rating stacked up. So we've got a lot of bulls. You can see there's 18 bullish names here, only seven neutral. There are zero bears in this sector, okay? And when I talk about NVIDIA, obviously, we know what happened last night. Everyone's talking about it today. But even that stock pulled back, but it never broke down on the relative strength. That's one of the things we talk about all the time that you've got to be able to identify is the stock breaking down or is the relative strength really breaking down? I'm going to show you a name that was still bullish and remained bullish, but started to sort of, I would say, flash signs of trouble. But again, here's a name that's saved by NVIDIA with these now, again, great numbers, but more importantly, for AI in general to even exist, you've got to have this complex, this semiconductor group will play a major, major role in AI, in the future of AI, of course. And so when you see the outlook for an NVIDIA, you look at their main competitor, Advanced Micro Device, look at the stock here, up 11%, massive move. Now, this didn't really waver at all. It kind of had some trouble getting started this year, but once it did... The relative strength looks strong. Look at the shake in money flow here. Again, the ability to dive into the ETF is really the takeaway of this video. Look not only at the ETF itself, but look underneath the hood and see what's going on in those names by taking a look at the entire list in one shot. There's a lot of names in here. You can see them all on the video. You know a lot of these names. There's Intel, there's Texas Instruments, there's Skyworks. There's Micron, we just looked at. There's Broadcom, another stock that's been doing incredibly well. Look at this name up, $66, 5.4%. Again, I think the entire semiconductor group owes a bit of thanks to NVIDIA. All right, folks, we looked at the VanEck Semiconductor ETF symbol SMH today. You look underneath the hood, you can see what's happening. And that complete sector is on fire today in a good way, right? Moving higher with a big rally. Again, relative strength never broke down. And that's one of the key takeaways of this video. Make sure you're following the group, the main components, and looking at them as an entire sector, making sure the trend is intact. Take care. We'll see you next time.